my wife, women instinctively parent. Watch a woman when a baby cries. They go toward the sound. <laughs> save it, save the baby. <laughs> Watch a dude. Oh, that's horrible. I'm gonna be in the garage where no one's allowed to bite me or poop on me ever. Those are the rules. She helps me, she instinctively parents. And we, you know, we, we uh, my generation, we don't have the books. Like, you know, we don't have, where did all the books, all the parenting books, because they all say different things. There's no book on parenting, right? There's no one way to do it right. It's like the people in the 70s just burned all the parenting books at a disco and left us hanging. And so we're just experimenting on these kids. My whole generation, we're just experimenting. I tell kids all the time, I'm like, you know, your parents, we don't know what we're doing. We're just trying stuff out on you. <laughs> Remember last time you were in a timeout? You're like, this isn't fair. Probably wasn't. We don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I took my daughter to a pet store and she was going crazy over the guinea pigs. I want a guinea pig. I was like, we have one. It's you. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so I just want to do it right. I want to be a good parent, but it's hard, right? It's really difficult. My son has started swearing. Not swear words, because we don't use them in the house. Words we taught him, you don't say. We taught him you don't say stupid and you don't say hate, because those two words, you create conflict by taking somebody's dignity. We use those to illustrate that. So to him, stupid and hate are the two worst words in the world. And I put him in a timeout. He called me a stupid hate. <laughs> Both those words are the F word. I know exactly what he said to me. <laughs> I'm not stupid, you little hate. I broke your code. Two days before I came here, he called me a stupider. He added ER to stupid. <laughs> it created effort out of thin air. I was so proud. <laughs> He's a linguist. He's a genius. I can't even tell the counselors. So it's hard being a parent. It's not easy. And the books, you know, they say different stuff. And my wife gave me one big book and said, read this. And that's what they do. They, you know, they, so, you know, you got to read one. But there should be a disclaimer that says, hey, idiot, not everything's in this book. Because I just thought if it wasn't in the book, it was normal. And uh, which is OK, <laughs> unless something happens that's not in the book. Like my daughter had a noise she'd make after she ate her bottle. She'd go, <laughs> like a little squeak. She did it a lot, so I started, I looked it up under S for squeaks in the book. And it wasn't in there. So I nicknamed her Squeaks and I moved on with my life. I showed her to my friends. One of my friends is a nurse. She's like, I don't think that's normal. And it wasn't. She had reflux. That's where you puke a little and you eat it. That's what she'd been doing the whole time, fighting for her life. And I'm nicknaming her after the symptoms like an idiot because it wasn't in the book. <laughs>